Ooh, what's this? Lore item tavern inventory. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Locking doors, lantern uses, shimmy, greater inheritance. According to my dive into the old records of Gilling, the Scroll of Inheritance should be safely nestled somewhere quite near Redwall. Indeed, Redwall itself is near built upon the ruined footprint of Kotir. Or rather, I should say that the Scroll is quite safe from the prying paws of any beast. Alas, all evidence points to the abandoned otter's den, whose last remaining entrance I have traced to northern old Moss Creek. Not but a day's trek from the rotting fishing hamlet of Pontedaria. I, however, worry for the state of the den, given it was abandoned even in the days of Smar S Sarmina, Greenies, and empty still before that when Pon Pontedaria thrived. Doubtless the caves have crumbled and collapsed by now, potentially losing the squirrel to us for good, and if not yet, I dare not will a, cre a creature to dive into such perilous places to be buried with it. While still a record treasure for the archive, I can't help but note that this scroll has been lost for too long without much consequence, which leads me to ponder another yet indecipherable riddle included in the records of Gilling. Could it be there with some greater inheritance than the scroll? Riddle. I oft reside in Newart's cradle a silent t tomb for living yell oh my gosh a clover creek adorned where seen just behind the withered green hear the words that ever flow from ancient one in time of snow seek the truth below the tide find the wisdom hide present a feast to get their hunger a path resides in speechless wonder pickerel oh my gosh i couldn't even read the whole thing okay i demand a formal apology from the little folk of the grotto or it is to be war between us do you know how timely and difficult it was to secretly gather dates and nuts and honey i promised either a special share just to keep it a secret it was to be the best surprise ever instead i was the one surprised to find all that hard work carried off into cracks behind founder's font you better have thoroughly enjoyed them cinnamon the sweet maker okay Honeymead, Pineweed, on a mail, special ale. Replacement tankards. Okay. So is... Okay, so I collected all three keys. So that must have been the stairwell back there. Signed love letter. Let's read. Okay, so it's not in there. Is it the lore? I was not sure what to think of you at first. Beautiful, yes, but beautiful in the same way I find a baked apple. <laughs> I have never been one for words, but let me try. I once disliked apples, yet was continuously fooled by the presentation of brown butter and cinnamon, only to be left with a bad taste in my mouth. And now, nibble by nibble, I have become fond of apples. Remember when you put your scarf on a snowman and tried to snuggle me instead of just taking your scarf back? I thought you were a baked apple, trying to disguise a bad flavor. Now it's hard to imagine why I wasn't fond of you. I guess what I'm saying. Wow, that's um, that's a nice love letter. <laughs> oh, that was great. <sighs> Oop, that was. Uh, okay. Let's go through here. Was this where I met the first? I think that's where I met the first one. What's...
There, bathed in silver moonlight, the Lily Grove catacomb stood as a grand, if dusty, example of the craftsmanship of the moles. Long centuries before the spectacular vault was built by the mighty Runebro clan, in celebration and gratitude of all that Lady Grove had become in its heyday, which even then was long, long ago. And though its splendor had faded in the steady flow of time, it was, and still is, one of the most majestic sights in all of Mossflower Country. Okay, I'm almost wondering if this is a hint to where there's do I climb up? I don't know if that's really a good idea. If I really can. That looks like it would have been where uh, Cash is, but it looks like there's something over on that other. Let's go back real quick. Um, this one? No. This one? No. Uh, this one... We'll find it. We'll find it eventually. This one? Okay, now. I'm gonna guess that there was a cache somewhere. That's what usually those rocks mean. Keep hitting. I found the cash, okay. So Oh nope, spice blend. I thought. Is there something glowing over there? Or is it just... was that trophy huh. 
Oh, it's just a candle. Oh, man. Okay, I can't get in there. Just gonna keep opening doors. Um, he's still locked in. I don't see anything. And I don't think I can shimmy up. Yeah, no. Well, I can because you're locked away. Let's just... You what? can't hide forever. Okay, I forgot where that locked door was. Was those two... It was just up here, I think. Yeah. Places. Despite the urgency of the situation on the surface, Sophia found herself compelled to lend aid to those frightened and desperate beasts. And as the last one ascended to safety, she found her own animus surprisingly calm. Her anxiety for Liam greatly diminished, and in its place, a determination and resolve that she had never felt before. Even now, she was embracing the values of Red Wall before ever hearing its charter or passing its gates. Oh, I'm so happy to see you healthy and whole again, Miss Ivy Wayne. I believe you'll be safe here. All on account of you, dear girl. I'm quite in your debt. And rather inspired. I think I shall write a poem in honor of you and your handsome bow. Liam? Have you seen him? Is he all right? He was when I saw him last. Surely no more than an hour ago. More than all right. He was positively heroic. Your Liam was like a one-mouse flying squad. Leaping between thwacking rats and rescuing civilians. I doubt my sister Dorabella nor I would be here right now if he hadn't pulled us from a fire. Oh, I we're sisters. You didn't know that? Twins, in fact. And she's the eldest by the narrowest margin, as I emerged clutching a reel. No, I didn't know that. Begging your pardon, ma'am, but the two of you seem nothing alike. Oh, no offence taken, my dear. That's the way it is with twins from time to time. I've always been the quiet, creative one. A flibbity gibbet, she says. And she's always been the smart and productive one. Yes, I might say you were the kind one, but perhaps you have a better way to put it. Oh, my, I should have thought of that. Oh, you must be so worried with your farm out on the outskirts. Well, rest at ease, dear one. They're quite safe. We were all preparing a surprise party for you. Um, surprise? <laughs> In the midst of our decorating, the beasts attacked, but your Liam jumped instantly into action and drove them back, giving all of us time to escape, including your entire family, Sophia. I expect they've found refuge up Old Moss Creek by now. That was such the saddest surprise I've ever heard. How cute. This place? This is the dry cellar of Ivy Wayne Merchant, Dorabella's shop. 
I expect the shop itself is quite crawling with vermin, but the passageway yonder should lead you toward the town square. Oh, please be careful, dear. And make sure your valiant Liam isn't out there alone. Oh, you remember? And at a time like this, you flatter me. Do you still play? I remember you having some real talent, but being somewhat absent-minded. No different than any Dippin, of course. I should tell you, now that you're grown, that I never charged your family, nor told Dorabella about the charity. Perhaps it's best if we keep it our little secret. Sure thing, Bellatora. Oh, how cute. Okay, is there anything I could sniff? It looks like I know all of these scents in here. Let's talk to you a little more. Mr. Cornsilk, I wanted to check on you. Are you all right? Why shouldn't I be all right? I'm not an invalid. A few grey hairs doesn't make me helpless, you know. Of course not. I only meant... Well, I'm not sure, really. Jeez. Offer help, offer kindness? I don't know if... Help for him is... What I meant to say is that while a fit and upstanding citizen like yourself can obviously fend for himself, um, perhaps you could use a hand securing the splendid cider you're so famous for. Hmm, famous, you say? Mr. Coyle can't stop raving about it. Says it's the finest press in a hundred leagues. Does he now? Well, he's quite right, of course. <laughs> Stroke his ego, good thing. Mr. Coyle, while well, he's been more accommodating than most, hasn't got the palate to discern a great brew from a merely good one. Nonetheless, I'm pleased to know my apple scyther has met his approval. At least somebody appreciates my work. I'll let you in on a little secret. Failing to seal the fermentation crop with wax is the first mistake most brewers make. The slightest draught and the batch turns skunk. That and a dose of beet sugar is apparently enough to earn a bit of notoriety, eh? Yeah, I got secrets. Okay. Um, let's ask about Liam. Liam's his name, correct? I believe I saw him just as I was locking up my tavern. He just dispatched a rat with that wicked sword of his. Quite impressive, I must say. I doubt you have much to worry about. He seems rather capable. I know. That's my hubby. Uh, anything of use? Here it is. Bread and cheese. Sure, I'll take bread and cheese. Somewhere to hide. Is there anything? I'm stuck. There is something behind here. Looks like a violin. Found. Oh, I found my old violin. I get to play. Got a new journal entry. Let's. Let's. I haven't seen this thing in years. I forgot I left it with Belladora so that she could teach some other dibbins the way of the fiddle. I wonder if I've lost my touch. When all of this is sorted out, I should pick it up again. Nothing raises the spears quite like a good jig. I think that's everyone down here. If there is anyone else, I'm sure they're more than safe. So I can play the fiddle. Okay, it doesn't look... Wait... No, I was just my light on my tail. Found the anvil. Oh, that's where that led. Oh, there's something over here. Bread and cheese. Let's break these pots. I said break these pots. Oh, come on, my lord. 
Maybe I can... That didn't even break it. Uh oh, where'd it go? There it is. Well... It doesn't look like there's anything in there anyway, so... Whatever. We'll go. I'm glad to see you're in good health, Mrs. Ivy Wayne. How fares the rest of your clan? Nillis of the Triplets? Why, the thought I hadn't, um... Oh, uh, yes! Well, as fate would have it, all of the Ivy Wayne male folk were conveniently away on business this week. Somewhere near Brock Holt by now, I expect. To think, my own flesh and blood abandoning me to this horrid fate for the sake of trading candy chestnuts! <laughs> uh, uh, are you suggesting they knew the attack was coming? Of course not, child, but they should have. <laughs> of course they should have. Mercy, you are new here, aren't you? Brockholt is built in the remains of the old Brockt Hall, which of course harkens back, um, goodness, uh, who knows how far back. Of course, the badgers left that enormous elm tree to rot ages ago, but now the otters have spiffed up the place again. Surely you know this. Oh, don't look so surprised. Many of the, shall we say, more upwardly mobile members of Lively Grove Society use these old catacombs for storage and occasional gatherings. Of course, all the icky, filthy things were cleaned out long ago, and Pickerel at least keeps it lit. But it does get rather damp this time of year. That mouse is, how might I say this, um, eccentric. He actually lives down here somewhere as the self-proclaimed caretaker. I imagine he's harmless enough, but only seen once every season or two. Someday I expect him to perish down here all alone, not to be known until the stench alerts my delicate nostrils. Yes, yes, I did see your Liam. Oh, what a dashing young fellow. Such a welcome change from the way the rest of the river mouse brood turned out. <laughs> How ru <sighs> But is he okay? Is he okay? Oh, Liam's still... Yes, well, I should hope so. He's one of the few fighters left to protect my shop. Though, when I saw him last, he was running off toward that gruesome beast scum snout. A pox on these pestilent vermin, my dear sister. So young, so vibrant, and now surely enslaved or worse. Actually, I just... Please don't interrupt. Belladora! This savage world was not a place for a gentle and loving heart like your own, cast in the mould of the softest spring and shimmering moonlight. Alas! <laughs> Oi! I'm telling you, I just spoke to her. She's not dead at all. In fact, she's right over there. What? Oh! Uh, I see. Uh, well, then please remind her that the lentils need rotating. Oh my, <laughs> she's an interesting character, if that's for sure. So, am I getting them back into there? I'm going to guess so. Never mind. Psst. 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 
Can you go over? Okay, maybe not. Because they can't get over. And I'm confused on where I go. Okay, it's definitely not there, but there is... Oh boy, oh boy. I'm glad to see you're in good health. Oops. Uh, Mercy, you are. I'm glad. To... Uh, of course. Psst. Psst. Um. you go over oh maybe I need to go give her to Dora Bella or Bella Dora Okay, hold on. Let's go get Ichi Bond. Look at that, we got everything. Oh, we're missing a lore item. Three out of three, eight out of nine, four out of five. We're missing a recipe. I found both caches somehow in mail. Um I wonder if it's something Despite the urgency of the situation in here. Patient on the surface, Sophia found herself compelled to lend aid to those frightened and desperate beasts. And as the last one ascended to safety, she found her own animus surprisingly calm. Her anxiety for Liam greatly diminished, and in its place, a determination and resolve that she'd never felt before. Even now, she was embracing the values of Red Wall before ever hearing its charter or passing its gates. <gasps> Recipe and a lore. Okay, the geocache was in here. Despite the urgency of the situation on the surface, Sophia found herself compelled to lend aid to those frightened and desperate beasts. And as the last one ascended to safety, she found her own animus surprisingly calm. Her anxiety for Liam greatly diminished, and in its place, a determination and resolve that she had never felt before. Even now, she was embracing the values of Red Wall. Before or ever hearing its charter or passing its gates. Um. 
It's gotta be somewhere here. Oops. There's something over here. Secret learned potato. That's just flour. I don't. Is there a secret over here? I wonder if it's up above. Uh oh. Okay, maybe it's not. Okay, let's try this. Eight out of nine, five out of five. Where did I miss that last geocache? I had two the last time. Despite the urgency of the situation, not on the surface, Sophia found herself compelled to lend aid to those frightened and desperate beasts. And as the last one ascended to safety, she found her own animus surprisingly calm. Her anxiety for Liam greatly diminished. And in its place, a determination and resolve that she had never felt before. Even now, she was embracing the values of Red Wall before ever hearing its charter or passing its gates. Okay, that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm missing a lore piece, probably somewhere that wasn't in here. One eternity later. There it is. Mysterious riddle. 
fairly travel, you follow quite well, but there still be a secret to where my treasure dwells. Climb in the sewers beneath our fair village to find ye a code for the treasure to pillage. Reaching the fish will not you what you wish, so seek what you need under houses and seed. The rubble and twig you shouldn't need dig to use what you find, the fork and the climb. So there we go, now we have everything. I will see you all again later. Bye bye!